Steve. What's bothering you? What are you looking out for? I'm looking for Louis. We're supposed to go and see the new Jack Donald's movie together, but he isn't responding to my messages. Do you see him doing physics class? Of course not. He's on MC. Still? He wasn't there for last week's handball either. That's right. He will probably be out of action for a couple more days. What? I thought fevers usually go away in a day or so. It's not just any fever. Lewis has dengue fever. It's a virus transmitted by the Aedes mosquito. It's even scarier because there's currently no effective vaccine for dengue fever, which means- Hold up. So, what does it mean for Lewis? It means that dengue fever is much worse than your typical fever. You can get severe headache, muscle and joint pain, and rashes. In the worst case, it can become dengue hemorrhagic fever, which can be fatal. Fatal? What kind of insect bite is this? I've never heard of a venomous mosquito before. The mosquito isn't venomous. It's a carrier of the virus. Firstly, the female Aedes mosquito bites someone who is already ill with dengue fever. Soon, the mosquito becomes infectious. When it goes on to bite other healthy people, it transmits the virus to them. That sounds like it's really easy to contract the virus. Exactly! We live in a tropical climate, which is suitable for the Aedes mosquito to breed. If only we could get rid of all Aedes mosquitoes. We can't, but we can certainly try to reduce their population size to minimise the spread of dengue fever. The Aedes mosquito can be identified through the characteristic black and white stripes. Hey, can we go visit Louis? Will we also get dengue fever? No, dengue fever is not contagious. It can't transmit directly from person to person, but we shouldn't disturb him if he's resting anyway. Oh, we should also apply some insect repellent to prevent mosquito bites in case the mosquitoes are still in the area. Right. What about dropping off some food and drinks for him? Yeah, sure. Oh, look! This is a container that mosquitoes can breed in. Ew, but that container is so small. See how easy it is for mosquitoes to breed? They only need a puddle the size of a 20 cent coin to lay their eggs. And their eggs can last for up to 9 months in dry conditions. 9 months? That's so long! Surely someone will see them and got rid of the eggs before they can hatch. No. First of all, mosquito eggs are tiny and not so easily spotted. And the moment they come into contact with water, they only need a week or so to become adult mosquitoes. What? So fast? It is. And that's why all of us need to play our part to deny mosquitoes of potential breeding areas. The Aedes mosquitoes' favourite breeding areas are your common household water containers. From gardening tools to dishwashing racks, the Aedes mosquito can breed in areas with just a bit of water. Outside your house, they can breed in stagnant water found in roof gutters and drains. Litter such as food containers can retain rainwater and become potential breeding grounds for mosquitoes. We can all do our part to remove any potential breeding spots in our homes and schools by binning our litter and removing stagnant water. Wow, that is a lot of potential breeding grounds. That's why we should share all these tips on dengue prevention with our friends, family and neighbours. That's true. When all of us work together, we can prevent the spread of dengue.